Civil engineering was chosen as our main discipline to apply mathematics to, as a majority of our group are enrolled in the civil engineering degree. We have chosen to appropriately use a fairly common mathematical concept in civil engineering, used in the design and construction of cable bridges. This concept is vectors. Vectors became very important in the construction of bridges as engineers needed to analyse and calculate the different tensions occurring throughout the structure, using a simple and effective use of mathematics. In bridges, engineers must calculate the different tensions in each cable to ensure that each is stable enough to carry the load. I will now pass you on to Ben, who will present to you a question on vectors in a civil engineering scenario. Engineers exercise mathematics on a realistic level. It is used in an extensive way to prove natural phenomena, infrastructure, mechanisms and much more. The examples that we are about to put into practice is associated with the civil engineering spectrum and utilises vectors which we learn about in 141. Ultimately, we are using this method to find the tensions and forces in cables on a bridge. We will validate to you that vectors prove a logical and efficient way of dealing with this situation. As shown on the left, a simple example of cabled bridge is illustrated. It is important to note that the various points are given in metres. If we look at the image, we can see we have four points A, B, C and D, and point S being the point where they all meet. Assuming the weight is evenly distributed, there is a weight of 2 kN on each point. So our objective is to estimate the tensions in the wires and the force at point S. Scott will demonstrate to you the beauty of vectors and how to solve this problem. Take it away, Scott. Thanks, Ben. In the problem mentioned, we are given the following points, A, B, C, D and S, as shown. We are also told that the weight is distributed evenly with a weight of 2 kN at each of the four points A, B, C and D. The vectors along each tie can be easily calculated by subtracting each component of the point S by the corresponding point, as seen here. The tension at the point S in the tie AS can be evaluated through the following equation. With the system being in equilibrium, we know that the vertical components of A are equal. Therefore, we can find TA to be 2 over 19 kilonewtons. The tension of each tie can now be calculated using the method mentioned previously. To find the tension as a single number, we calculate the square root of the sum of each point squared as shown. The total tension can now be found by adding the tension of each tie. I'll now pass on to Georgia. As mentioned in the example, one of the standard methods of supporting bridges is with cables. One of the most famous engineering and architecture victories are suspension bridges such as the Golden Gate Bridge. However, cable state bridges are the less celebrated cousin, with the most impressive being the Rusky Bridge in Russia which spans over 3 kilometres long. The main difference from the suspension bridge is that cable supports are attached directly to the towers rather than to another suspended cable. Both types of bridges depend on using mathematical processes of vector algebra to evaluate the amount of tension in the cables and the forces on the pillars prior to construction. Without an accurate assessment of these factors, the bridge has the potential to collapse due to misplaced counter forces which endangers the lives of civilians and workers alike. 